So good evening, everyone. I'm about to speed run this set like my first sexual experience. <laughs> I won that match. <laughs> so, uh, long story short, I'm from uh, the Kink community, and um, simply put, we uh, do things like we have a saying in the Kink community. So, we're the people that like, you know, like um, chains and also whips and gloves and things like that. We have a saying, simply put, is like uh, sticks and stones might break my bones, but whips and chains excite us. <laughs> and uh, normally, when you're introduced to the Kink community, what they like to do is they like to have munches. So munches are when you go to like a public restaurant or something, get to know the people that you're about to be invited to the house party to. You know, they want to make sure they're not inviting a crazy person, just a person who's burnt out by regular society. <laughs> so one of the things they normally say at a munch is like, oh, tell us about an embarrassing sexual story that you have. Now, I normally don't do that, and you guys are going to find out tonight. Am I talking too fast? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just making sure it's not as much time. So, uh, back in my day, and even though I'm not that old, uh, back in once to Salem, you could go inside of a sex shop and just buy a sex toy, and they, they, didn't, they weren't the wiser. I wasn't under the age of 18, but they definitely wanted my money. So I was trying to figure out, oh, uh, am I bisexual? Am I gay? Let me figure out about this anal sex thing. So I go into the store, buy a toy, which I had later found out was not the right toy, but um, I was going to try it anyway. I live in a trailer, or at least I did back when I lived with my family, and, you know, thin walls. So I decided to get the night sneaky. No, go ahead and get those laughs out. No time. <laughs> so I decided to be really, really sneaky. I was like, okay, okay. So dad's working in the back of this wood shop in the middle of the trailer. Mom's cooking dinner, and my brother and cousin are playing Dragon Ball Z. Have you guys heard of that? Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. 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 And I, oh shit, I forgot the name of the other moves. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, like, really destructive to stays like that, so you know, nice and loud. So I decided to lay down the blanket of myself. Uh, not too much, I don't want to get too hot. And I just started going at myself, you know, just to figure out if I can, if this is something I like. Well, my mother must have walked through the hallway or something, she happened to notice that my room mic was on. And my mother, being really nice, was like, well, you know, maybe my boy's trying to sleep, I'll just go in there and turn off the light. So she comes in, sees what I'm doing, and utterly freaks out. And I sit straight up. Now, uh, for you guys that don't know, that was one of the most painful experiences of my life. <laughs> it was the longest. Six inches, of which I've ever experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know what a train crash sounds like? <laughs> now imagine that in your ass. <laughs> While locking eyes with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so now I muster up all the strength that I have and say the most manly of voice, Get out, Mom! I'm masturbating! Get out! <laughs> like, oh, no, no, no. She runs out and thinks, My mother is military. So she turns around, immediately hits her hip on the dresser drawer and falls down. And she crawls out of there like there's barbed wire above her head. And just takes her behind her. Okay. My brother and cousin hear this and they just start laughing at the storm. And then all of a sudden I hear the PlayStation turn on. A couple of sounds. And then my favorite anime character, Vegeta, says, Round two! Fight! <laughs> I died that night. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, the emasculation doesn't stop there. Because it's one thing to lock eyes with your mother and sit on the biggest dildo you've ever experienced in your life. <laughs> it's another thing when your favorite anime character, with sure and utter confidence, says, you got another round of you, kid. <laughs> so, I told you that story to tell you this one. Long story short, I met a great girl who was into pegging. Uh, for you guys that don't know pegging. Yeah, I mean, pegging is when uh, a woman has penis in envy and wants to like basically take it out on the guy and learns true sexual exhaustion. But uh, simply then I put down her mat and had this girl. She was awesome. And we decided to just go ahead and put down some foil. And right before the act started, she lined herself up and the oil slipped off of her hand to my back. And she ripped into me like this, bang, really quick. And she freaks out, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, are you okay? So I look back at her. <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> I've had worse. Hey, did I ever tell you about my mom? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, thank you guys. That's my time for you. <laughs>